The next news network is sponsored in part by GetTheTea.com, a powerful detox tea to support your health. With one move, Donald Trump just punked Obama on Inauguration Day. Alicia Powell for Western Journalism reports as the countdown clock on the White House transition is winding down. The presidential inaugural, inaugural committee released its schedule of events this week for President-elect Donald Trump's inauguration week. They're right here now, less than a month away. Trump's inauguration will be a less extravagant affair than that of his Democratic predecessor. They're right here, just two official inaugural balls are being planned to celebrate the evening that Trump will be sworn in. Just two balls Trump will be appearing at. They say Trump will also attend an armed services ball described as a special tribute to our veterans those currently serving military families, first responders, and those who have given the ultimate sacrifice so that we may all live in freedom. So it appears as though uh, he's only going to, going to be attending three balls. Now, uh, they write here, President Obama and the First Lady Michelle Obama went to guess how many <clears throat> in 2009? Ten balls. Yes, Barack Obama had to juggle ten balls for his inauguration week. <laughs> I can't hold myself any longer. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I just keep hearing the ACDC song playing over and over my head, and over in my head. <laughs> some balls are, are, <laughs> are held for dancing and some for fancy dress, but the balls that are held for pleasure are the balls that I like the best, right? <laughs> Oh, goodness. This report has just gone downhill. So many balls to juggle. Of course, we all know that Barack Obama loves to juggle balls. Yes, even Michelle Obama, she loves to juggle balls, too. Uh, oh, goodness. I've lost it. <laughs> okay, back to the story here. Then they held a more intimate after-hours house party at the White House with big names like Oprah Winfrey, who reportedly attended. Now they state here, Trump's inauguration schedule is also a stark contrast from that of President George W. Bush, who attended eight balls. Yes, he only had to juggle eight balls to celebrate his first inauguration. Uh, they were here anticipating the comparisons made between inaugural plans this year and those previously orchestrated. Presidential Inaugural Committee Chairman Tom Barack issued a statement explaining the rationale behind Trump's more modest plans. They say here, quote, that the 2017 inaugural celebrations will reflect President-elect Trump's eagerness to work in order to make our country safer and stronger. So apparently Donald Trump doesn't need to have as many balls as Obama, but he will, um, that's because his balls are bigger and his balls are stronger, and then that means he can work because they're so big he can doesn't only have, doesn't have to attend so many so then he can go and make america great again because he's already basically like the equivalent of, of trump's balls to Ob obama's balls <laughs> you've got only three to ten balls you see what i'm saying that's like the equivalency that just shows you just how big trump's balls are therefore he doesn't have to attend as many or juggle as many so he can get on with the business of making America great again. Do you see what I'm saying here? You follow the logic? I know you do. So, they're going to be some big, wonderful balls, I'm sure. Okay, I've lost it. <laughs> what are your thoughts? Comment below. Subscribe for updates. If you like what we're doing here, and if you got something out of this report, which I hope you did, please give us a thumbs up and... Uh, Share this laugh on your social networks. For the next news network, I'm Gary Franchi. You possess the power to impact the global narrative. Please share this report. And to get more videos like this, become a next news subscriber by clicking the link below. Thank you for watching the next news network.